Yeah, I'm watching um, Elder Positar's video. Captain Joel is wrong. Captain Joel is as wrong as the day is long. And um, uh, he just made a statement, which I uh, brought back the video to around where he made the statement about um, Bishop Nathaniel, how he's uh, the master of regurgitation. <laughs> I think that's what I'll call this video. Uh, Bishop Nathaniel, the master of regurgitation. And that is so true, man. And I'm trying to think, uh, you know, going back to the main school, right, at One West, I'm trying to figure out what major revelation did uh, did uh, Bishop Nathaniel, back then he was Nathaniel Aga, what major revelation did he ever bring out? I can't think of one. I can't think of one major revelation this guy uh, Nathaniel Aga, that was his name back then. Now he's Bishop Nathaniel. I can't think of one major revelation that he brought out. Yet he's being honored as if he's Yahweh Shai himself. <laughs> Let me say that again, man. I can't think of one major revelation that, <clears throat> excuse me, that Nathaniel Aliga, that was his name back then. Now he's Bishop Nathaniel. I can't think of one major revelation that he brought out, not one. Like I said, and yet he's being honored, and mostly he's being honored by these simple-minded uh, women. That's why the Apostle Paul told Timothy about those silly women laden with sins, right? They're being led by what? They're being led by these phonies. Go and read it for yourself. Second Timothy, the third chapter. The Apostle Paul, more than 2,000 years ago, the Apostle Paul warned Timothy about guys like that. They lead captive silly women laden with sins. And that's what you got over there at that group. A bunch of silly broads. A lot of them have husbands too. But here they are looking up to this guy like he's Yahweh Shai. I'm talking about uh, uh, Bishop Nathaniel, which is totally off. You're supposed to look at your husband as being your Lord. Let's go back to uh, Sarah. Sarah looked at Abraham as her Lord. Okay? Let me say that again. Sarah looked at Abraham as her Lord. You can read that in 1 Peter, the third chapter, maybe around the seventh verse. So here it is. You have, a, you have a, 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 a woman. You have a wife. You're over there at the IUIC. You have a wife, and she's looking up to either Nathaniel Alaga or, or his boys, the guys that are around him. She's looking up to them as if they're the Savior. Meanwhile, she's looking at you. You're supposed to be her husband. She's looking at you like, yeah. <laughs> totally out of order, man. Totally out of order. Let me play some of uh, what Elder Apostar said. Can I break those precepts down? Is because you were never taught it. So how can you regurgitate what was never put in you in the first place? That's right. Uh, Bishop Netanyahu there are nothing more than master regurgitators. That's it. That's a new one for you. That's it. That is so true. He's the master of regurgitation. You know, if the Holy Spirit was really working with him on that, the, you know, what he purports to be. Look that word, a purport, purport. What he purports to be. Got all these individuals, like I said, mostly silly women worshiping him. If he was really on that level, man, he'd be bringing out all kind of deep revelations man like i said i'm i'm sitting here in my car and i'm trying to think of one major revelation the guy brought out and i can't think of one all he's done throughout his career is regurgitate so ipso facto by the fact itself he's the master of regurgitation that's exactly what he is and this proves that the Holy Spirit is really not working with him. If the Holy Spirit was working with him, he would be bringing out all kind of deep revelations. Okay? Now, starting with Elder Apostle Tao and down, the, the Holy Spirit have worked with us heavy. We've brought out a lot of deep revelations. Okay? The, 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 uh, let me just give you an example. Uh, the Cornelius, uh, the understanding of Cornelius, right? That's one. Uh, how to uh, keep the Sabbath. The correct way, the right way, that's two. Okay? And I could go on down the line, but I've made the point. I've gave I gave you two examples. I've made the point. 
Bishop Nathaniel can't give you one. <laughs> All he's done is regurgitate. And he told, he told um, Elder Apostle Rakar, he said, look, I watch, I watch every video you guys do. So that's how he's able to go into certain prophecies. Because he watches our videos. The guy's a fucking charlatan, man. Straight up and down, the dude is a charlatan. Okay? And the Holy Spirit ain't working with him like that. The Holy Spirit is not working with, with, with that dude like that. Let me show you a scripture. That's because Yahweh Shai ain't with him. If Yahweh Shai is truly with you in a high degree, man, you're going to bring out all kinds of stuff, man. And it's really not you, it's Yahweh Shai working through you. It is right here. The book of John 7 and 38. These are the words of Yahweh Shai. He said, He that believeth on me, and Nathaniel don't believe in Yahweh Shai. Let me tell you like it is. Nathaniel does not believe in Yahweh Shai. Okay? He thinks he's Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai warned us about guys like him. Many shall come saying, I am the anointed. Okay? And be worshipped by many, be honored by men. And it's mostly women that's honoring this guy. It's mostly women. And what the hell does a woman know anyway? That's why the scripture said, silly women, laden with sins. Anyway, John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. That's a metaphor for bringing out all kind of revelations, whether they be deep or not so deep. But bringing out all kind of revelations. What revelation has Nate really brought out? That's what I want to know. Like I said, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to think of one, and I can't think of any. Okay? Because the Holy Spirit ain't really working with that guy. The guy's a charlatan. He's the master of regurgitation. Just like you heard the Elder Apostar said. Let me bring it back again. Whoop. <laughs> I went a little too far this time. Let me see. Right about here, I think he said it. Smart phone. When you, when you turn it on, a picture sees Bogier pop up. You know, I put the TV on. Every channel that you go to is a picture. Picture sees a Bogier. So that's the fight. He has risen. Do your cartoon TV show. Do your Disney World. Do your play. Do the Another thing, too, if... Um, I don't know why it keeps going back, man. If... Uh, if uh, the Holy Spirit was really working with this guy, he would understand what Revelation 13 and 16 going into the 17 verses. He would understand what the mark of the beast is. Okay, that's another revelation. Okay, the mark of the beast. Right? He would understand what, what it truly is. He would have uh, learned the word karagma or charagma. It was Elder Pazitao who brought that out. Karagma. And that's a key of, of understanding that scripture, because when you go into the Greek word, now wait a minute, they're the same group that made fun of us when we were going into the Hebrew, the Latin, and the Greek. So, <laughs> come on, man. To understand the scriptures, you would have to know the Hebrew, some of the Hebrew, the Greek, and the Latin to understand the scriptures, all right? And that revelation was given to us. Those guys, beginning with Nate, they made fun of that revelation. So much so that that, that uh, monkey, that six foot, seven foot tall monkey, we call the Lima. He said, uh, uh, they, they can never teach their uh, doctrine in the English. They always go to the Paleo Hebrew. There you go. All right. So I've made my point, man. I've made my point. Anyway. That's pretty much it. You know, Elder Pastor made that statement. I said, man, I got to jump on that because that was, that was so true. And I gave you examples to prove that it was true. So it's on to the next one.